Hi guys and welcome if you're new here, Mary Meet. If you've been here before, I'm so glad to have you back. My name is Kelsey and today we're doing something a little different. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I turn this Dollar Tree mirror into my glamour magic mirror that I keep on my beauty altar. So this is a beautiful mirror we have and I start by painting it all black. Now I do want to just say if you have gesso, it would be a good idea as a base coat because the paint really did not want to stick to this. But after three coats, we finally got it ready to go. Next I'm taking gilding adhesive and using a small paintbrush to apply it to all of those raised design areas. I'm doing this in sections with rose gold gold leaf just to keep track of where I've already been. Now if you wanted to use like gold or silver paint and do a dry brush on this you totally could to just bring out those details again. I'm using this because I have it for my book binding projects. Now I'm making this mirror my self-love glamour magic beauty mirror which is why I chose the rose gold. You can use these mirrors for scrying and something like silver would be great for that, daily affirmations, beauty spells, etc. Because mine is geared towards self-love, the items I use to decorate it add to that intention. And of course, waste not, want not, I go ahead and save the excess gold leaf and I will use this in oils or spells, etc. Now I am choosing my stones and crystals I'm using here and I have rose quartz which is good for complexion, youthful appearance and love. We have labradorite, good for insecurities, anxiety and stress. We have strawberry quartz which is good for seeing the reality of certain situations, absorbing excess energy and love. Uh, snowflake obsidian which is good for anger, resentfulness, loneliness, and um, unhelpful behavioral patterns which is something that I've really struggled with in my lifetime. We also have garnet that I picked out which is good for emotional balance, emotional trauma, and restoring vitality. And finally I do also have some larger pieces of black tourmaline that I'm adding in here as well for protection, grounding, and safety because something that I also really struggled with is staying kind of in my physical body and I wanted to really bring that into this mirror as well and then I just begin um, working in small sections with the hot glue and placing these stones around the mirror to really bring those energies into any workings that I do here and of course with any working or any creation that we may be doing for a specific purpose I definitely held the intentions that I really wanted to imbue this mirror with and what I was going to be using it for, how I was going to be using it as I was creating this. I was really trying to kind of push those energies into this mirror so that it can continue to help me and motivate me and keep me focused in certain areas as I utilize this. So with a focus like self-love, I was really focusing on the self-love and the acceptance and seeing myself for who I truly am and what I truly am instead of these stories that I've made up in my mind and learning to love and accept myself and learning to be present within myself instead of trying to escape myself, which is something that I've uh, had to work through in my life is trying to run away from who I am um, working with shame or guilt and things like this are all part of the self-love process for myself and learning how to accept me for who I am now for me it's not so much about looks um, as it may be for some people but for me it's more about accepting who I am internally and I love the mirror for this because it helps me kind of look into myself, look into my subconscious, look into my deeper self as I use this to kind of gaze into. And of course you can use it for affirmations and things like this as well. And here we're tying this charm for more protection and wholeness as well as we are going to be adding a triple moon black obsidian embellishment to the handle here. And I want you guys to hit this like button if you enjoyed this video. Here's the final outcome of this. I thoroughly enjoyed making this video for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this or any other crafts that you guys would like to see me do as I really want to bring more of this into this channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today and I will see you guys in the next one.